All right, folks, welcome to episode 58. 58. Welcome, 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 folks. It's been a crazy week for me, man. Yeah. But I think we got a fun topic to talk about today. Yeah. It's um, on the fun side. Yeah. So um, before we jump in, we got a couple of questions. Yes. From our listeners. Okay. And uh, I thought maybe we'd tackle the first question right off the bat. Answer, you know. We're doing this for the people, Ray. Yes. We're doing it for the people. We're doing it for the people. For the people runners. Exactly. Fellow runners. One of those people is a gentleman named Aaron, and he asked us to just answer a quick question about hip stretches. Okay. Apparently he's got some hip issues going on. He needs to stretch that sucker out. Yeah. Do you have any like go-to hip stretches that work for you, and can you describe them accurately in a podcast? Um, well, in a podcast, it's tough, right? Um, I prefer to show those things. Mm -hmm. But for me, sometimes just um, I do a forward, forward lunges. Those are helpful for me. Yeah. I also do side lunges. Those are very, very simple ones that, you know, I think most people know what those are. Uh, those stretch out other muscles, but they do help with my hips. Um, so I'll do those. Totally. And uh, yeah. Yeah, those are both really good because, like, that forward lunge will get the kind of front of your hip, yeah. and then the side lunges will get the kind of gets the adductors, but also can stretch out the outside of the hip a little bit. Another one that's really good for the outside of the hip is if you're kind of standing, um, just cross your feet. So put your right foot over your left, and mm -hmm. then you're going to lean towards that left foot, and that'll stretch that right hip out, and then just switch and go left over right, and then stretch towards that right side, and that'll stretch that outside of that hip. Um, so hopefully that helps you, Aaron. Um, and now we're going to talk a little bit about how our weeks went. How was your week in terms of running, Ray? Um, it's, it's been pretty good, considering, all things considered, it's been pretty good. Uh, I've, I've, I've gotten out there every day, um, and I, didn't, I wouldn't say I did a ton of miles, but I did a few more than I usually, than what I've been averaging. So I just had a little more time. So you know, I've thrown in a mile or two here, a mile or two nice. there. So it's been helpful, and uh, yeah. So uh, it's been a little bit. Once again, we mentioned this last week. Uh, a little more difficult because there are places that are dwindling down, like oh, right. parks and places I like to go to that are no longer available right now temporarily because of the COVID nineteen virus. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's just required. A little more thought to where I'm going to go, or yeah. you know, maybe I'm going to try different routes and check out different scenes. So I'll do that. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing too is just getting out there and um, making sure that I'm, you know, giving appropriate social distance to, to people that I see along the way, mm -hmm. walking their dogs or fellow runners or cyclists. Um, tried running with um, <laughs> with a facial covering uh, yeah. with a mask. Really, really was hard. It is um, tough. It's man. hard to breathe, and and and. I, on, on the one hand, I, I might be doing myself a little good by having to breathe a little harder to get oxygen, so maybe I'm strengthening my lungs, or I'm giving myself brain damage because I'm depriving myself of oxygen. I don't know. So, it's, it's, but it's, it's hard to the, do. It's one of the two. It's one of the two, it's and I haven't figured out exactly what's, you know, <laughs> where we're going with that. So. Yeah, How about so, you, you know? I find the same thing, man. It's like it's really hard to run with the facial covering over your mouth, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and nose. Um, so I kind of like, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but like, I'm pretty aware when I'm running, like yeah. visually looking for other people, traffic, all that stuff. So if I see somebody, then I'm pulling it up over my yeah, face. You've, yeah, okay. You know, I don't know if I'm supposed to be running with it just on constantly. Yeah. But I'll like take it down, I'll pull it up, make sure that at least when I'm around people or I see people, even like way off in the distance, I'll put it, put it up. Yeah. So I don't know if that's right, but that's what I've been doing. That's you know what you mentioned it to me yesterday, and, and I, on my run I did that because I, there were times where it was just so hard to breathe that I had to take it down, yeah. and so I kept aware of you know my surroundings and people coming towards me or me going around people. And I saw somebody, then I would pull it up and do right. this, I, the same thing. Yeah. It's usually one of those um, I don't know exactly what they're the buff scarfs or the, oh yeah, you know yeah. um, those are good because you can lift them up you know and they're easy um, and then you can just pull them down real quick and yeah so right. You have to keep it clean, though. I mean, like, That's so the thing. I find, uh, you know, I have a couple, and I'm just rotating those, making sure they're clean. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, yeah I, have a tough, I have a tough time with that. Because they get kind of sweaty and nasty, so. Yeah. You know, 
that's been tough. But other than that, you know, I'm just, you know, I will tell our listeners to just, you know, keep it rolling, keep keep running, just keep going, right. man. Um, and woman. Yes, exactly. Keep just going. keep it, keep going. And I, I know it's a break, and I mean everyone's routine has been, you know, blown out of the water, mm-hmm. so it's hard to get your running in. But you know, however way you do it. Um, just do it, just right? Do it. You're not training for anything. Well, some people might be training for events down the road, you yeah, know, or virtual uh, races, or virtual races. But um, you know, a lot of the a lot of things aren't happening. So um, race wise, so but, but just keep it rolling because it's, yeah. it's you're gonna you gotta you gotta stay healthy through this and stay in shape and stay fit. So I found I've actually been okay with that. I think mm-hmm. because of the nature of our work yeah it's a little easier for us because like our the owners of our stores awesome yeah and like, totally awesome. even though our hours are shrunk they're doing a great job keeping us uh at the same like pay scale which is fantastic and hopefully you know other people have that same situation going on but i know that's not the case for everybody i know especially even my wife as a teacher is still working a lot right uh, um so it might be harder for them but i found that like i've been able to get out and be not like as consistent because my schedule is kind of a little bit all over the place right. but i've been able to get out there and do something yeah which i think is super important during this time because yeah. i think you can get like stuck you know either in like a rut where you're like just depressed about it because oh, yeah. you don't want to oh, go sure. outside because you can't and, yeah and um, all that and then you've also got like a lot of work to do yeah but it's so important to take that hour away and get out and do something yeah and so not just physically but emotionally you know and i mm-hmm. mean there's like you know you mentioned depression um, anxiety there's stress you know so it's good to get out there yeah you know, physically and emotionally Right, so I've had actually a pretty good week in terms of running. Cool, um, cool. Been able to get out there and do like my own solo runs a few times, and then also some family run time. You know, love family run time. Although yesterday I didn't run. Okay. But that's uh, okay. It happens. It happens. I thought you know maybe I'll take a day. I'm gonna take a day. It's okay. Um, but I did some yoga. All right. Which is. Yoga's tough. Yoga's and it's tough. great. It really, truly is. Um, you know, my wife does it regularly, and she she loves it, swears by it, and yeah. My wife led me to some yoga. <laughs> I think it's hard. Yeah, probably. It was rough. <laughs> it was like really rough. torturous. Yeah, I know. I, maybe she did it on purpose, but it, yeah, it, she stick it to you. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of stretching. Yeah. And like a, sh- a shaking and falling over. Yeah, well, my wife takes me through just a, a few things, a few exercises and moves. I'm just like, whoa, you know, this yeah. is hard. I couldn't do a full hour, a hour of it right now unless it were really low. Me neither, low, man. You know, low-level yoga because it's hard. Yeah, I feel but like... But it's great, though. It really is. Yes. I can see the benefits of it. Absolutely. In a lot of ways. I mean, strengthening, stretching. Strengthening, flexibility, breathing. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's great stuff. Um, oh, so, that's good. Yeah, that you was good. It? it was a good time. I mean, it was, uh, my favorite part was the end where we just kind of laid there, you know? Shavasana. That's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to fall asleep, man. I almost fell asleep. <laughs> but we had a candle going, so I couldn't. Nice. You know? Right, you don't want to do that. Don't want, no. you don't fall asleep with a candle going. No, no, we didn't fall asleep. We were up, up and down. But yeah, that was my favorite part of the whole deal, you know? It's like you got to go through this torture to get to the good stuff, you know? Yeah, isn't there something about that? I don't know. That sounds kind of weird, huh, man? <laughs> yeah. just torture to feel great. Ooh, no. <laughs> exactly. I'm just kidding. That's not yoga. Yoga's great stuff. Yoga's good stuff. I mean, it's running. Good. Running, it can be torturous, but then you get you, you reap all the benefits, the benefits from it after, right? So. Hey, well, that's life, man. That's it really, life. truly, that's life. There you go. Life in a nutshell. <laughs> that's it. Um, so we did get another question. Yes. From a gentleman. Named Junior. Named Junior from Indiana. Yeah. Um, Junior. Give a shout out to Junior, man. Thanks for submitting your question. We We, appreciate that. It was, uh, he left us a little message, and it actually pertains to our topic at hand. Yeah, it's interesting how his message, or his question, kind of relates to what, you know, we're going to talk about. Right. So why don't we do this? We'll play his message. Okay. um, And then we'll take like a little break. Okay. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about 
we'll answer the question and then talk a little bit more about indulgences. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to talk about some indulgences. Yeah. We're back. We're back. We're back. You're back. I'm back. We're all back. That's it, man. Yak, yak, yak. So, Junior's question, right? Yes. Was all about, well, kind of our diet, right? Yeah. He was talking uh, pre-COVID-19 diet yeah. as opposed to, you know, COVID-19 diet. Yes. So. <laughs> I feel like... I, it's, it's funny because, yeah, I had some conversations recently with fellow runners and... You know, like, just talking, like, you know, how's your running going? And, you know, most people I know who are running and that I know in this community, they keep it, they're keeping it rolling. Mm -hmm. um, some people decided to take a little time off to rest their bones, you know, and kind of heal up from mm -hmm. heavy training schedules. But most of them keep it rolling. Yeah. But we were talking about some people who are, like, we're talking about, like, mm, you know, like some folks, like Buddy Adam, he uh, mentioned that... Uh, he was indulging a little more ice cream than usual, right? Uh, then, <laughs> right. Yes. yes. You know, he indulged from time to time with ice cream, but he, he's finding now, uh, for whatever reason, comfort perhaps. Right. Right? Um, maybe something to do. Yeah. You know, maybe he's, um, you know, indulging in a little more social you know, media or maybe even uh, streaming of television and shows. Um, and, right. and so he's... Yep. Adding a little ice cream to the mix exactly. and making it sweetening it up a bit. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and, and I can relate to that with the ice cream. You know, I don't overdo it, but I right. think that there's been a little bit more. This isn't giving anybody poetic license to do it. you got to keep those things in check because right. it's going to affect your life and your health and your running all around. But, yeah, yeah that was his indulgence. So Ice you know, cream, huh? Ice cream, man. Yeah. yeah, I think, like Junior was saying in his clip, that, like, it's... Uh, Kind of fell, fell off the wagon a little bit. Yeah, you know? sound a little bit. Sounded like sound it fell a off the wagon. Right. But that's. Uh, I think he's not alone. That's for definitely sure. not alone. Because I'm. I'm in the same boat. I'm. In, yeah. I. Me too. You know. I mean, I haven't always. I'm not really the most healthy eater to begin with. So okay. pre-COVID okay. nineteen, my diet was was not ideal. Okay. I mean, it's looking back. Probably better than it is now, oh, but it's not. I'm not gonna like sit here and tell you, you know, I'm eating <clears throat> super healthy all the time. Yeah, because I don't. Um, I mean, I try to, but you know, I I uh, I indulge. Yeah. But I definitely have been indulging more. Okay. And which is not good. What are you indulging in? Um, more? I like a I like a good ice cream right. now a little so bit good. more, and it's like because of. I think it's just like there's more time at home. I'm just sitting around. Maybe a little more time at home. Yeah. You know? Right? And maybe, you know, like, again, a, a, a time and then maybe you just need something to kind of sweeten up the situation, right, I guess. Exactly. You know? It's something it's to be, like, like lift your spirits. Right. Right? I mean, it's this has been troubling for everyone. Um, you know, there's a lot of stresses for a lot of folks involving work. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's hard. And. And then if you have kids, your kids are home and they're, they're distance learning or you might have to work from home. So it's just a total disruption of everything, mm. right? Um, events, sporting events, concerts, those are all canceled. So you kind of like get really, ticked off, yeah, right? You it's can't like, oh, you know? express you. You can't like release. There's right. no release. You know, you can't get out and go to a happy hour. You know, you can't go um, out to a club or to a restaurant. So it's 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 the... Um, it's upsetting. It's hard to even go into public place now. You had a lot of places like for us. We've got to wear masks. Mm -hmm. um, you go into a, a supermarket, and there's only a certain amount of people who are allowed there, and you, you have to go a certain way. So it's just, you know. So a little ice cream kind of helps the situation. It makes you feel better. Another thing, at least for a short period. Of time. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Or cocktails. You know what right, I mean? Right. Exactly. Like I've had. I don't usually. Like, I like craft beer. That's no secret. But yeah. I feel like I don't overdo it. But you know, like my. My sister-in-law, she texted me and sent me a picture of a, of a cocktail the other day. I'm like, oh, that looks great. What is that? What's in that? You know? It's like, I happen to have all those things, right? So nice. I had a cocktail. So she was having one. I was going to have one, too. A little happy hour. Again. A little virtual happy hour. So I like it. So I indulged. I had a Moscow Mule. You know what I mean? Ooh, that sounds, I don't know what a Moscow Mule it's, is. It's vodka, lime juice, uh, lime, um, ginger beer. So it's, and it's tasty. And you nice. put it in a copper mug, and it gets real cold, and you put ice in it, and it's good. So 
Um, Were you feeling good after that? Yeah, I was feeling, yeah, I was feeling pretty good. Got a little tipsy, it felt good, but, you know, you don't want to overdo it. Right, right. I, you know. That's another thing I've indulged in, I feel like. I feel like that uh, my alcohol consumption has gone up. Yeah. For sure. A little more wine? Uh, a little more wine, a little more beer. Yeah. I don't really drink all that much. Yeah. Like, it's just never around, but for some reason we had, we had wine. I don't know why there was more in the house than usual. Yeah, I think, stocking up. Yeah. Been, like, maybe, I stockpiling? You've been hoarding? I don't know why. Maybe it was like uh, Easter coming up or something. Something like that, yeah. But, um, yeah. So, I've been drinking more alcohol. Which is, yeah. you know, it's all right. I mean... But it's not like a good habit to get into. Yeah, you know, you don't do too much. you got to keep that in moderation. It's going to affect a lot of things. Gives me a headache in the morning. Right. I don't you, like that. You've talked about this before. That's not good. I don't like. I don't like the hangover so, effect. Yeah. I like so, to be up and ready to go. You know. Yeah. Any so, other indulgences you've partaken in besides uh, like food and beverage? Well, uh, let's see. I feel maybe I'm watching a little more. Television. Yeah. I try not to like movies and streaming things. I have access to a lot of a lot, a lot of stuff and mm -hmm. so I could watch a few more things here and there. Uh, yeah. New shows. You watch anything good? Um I don't know. Good for me might be not be good for you. I, I tend to indulge in like like uh, like news programs and stuff like that. Oh, all right, gotcha. You know. Um so delving into different news programs or documentaries and so that's cool. I'm a sucker for those. So I think I've been maybe watching a little bit more than usual. Your streaming consumption has gone through the I roof? would say so, yeah. What's your streaming platform? What do you use? Do you go to Netflix? Do you go uh, Amazon? Netflix. Do you go Hulu? What do you... I have Amazon, Netflix, Sling TV. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And that gives me a lot of access. You know, and I just, you know, I've got um, one of those fire sticks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. And cool. So I do that, so... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff there, and I find too that it's uh, maybe I'm staying up a little later than usual because Me of too, that. Man. Yeah. Me too, man. So that's too. an indulgence right there too. Yeah. I mean, not a good thing, right? So I guess what I would say to Junior is, first of all, don't feel despondent, man, because there's a lot of people out there who are feeling the same thing, whether they're runners or not. But um, don't be despondent. Don't throw in the towel, okay? Um, and that's that's hard to follow sometimes. I mean, I it can, is. You yeah. get into. You get into these ruts, right? You get into these ruts and it's hard to break out of those. Right. So don't feel like you can't get out of this because you can, right? You're a runner, right? You're a runner. You can get out of a lot of things, man. You can, you know, you're tough. We know that, right? If you're a runner, right? We're you tough. gotta be tough. You gotta be tough. So, you gotta be. Um, you know, you fall, you know, you fall into a rut. You can get out of it. Right. You can work your way out of yeah, it. Yeah, like I've, uh, like, we have fallen into that same rut in that we like it's nighttime kids in the bed hanging out watching a little more tv than usual that's when i bust out the ice cream yeah you know, a little potato chip action <laughs> maybe yeah so what do you do you gotta replace those things yesterday what i did was some yoga you did some yoga we turned the tv so off it. click boom tv off yoga okay it was awesome so, okay. And then after yoga, TV's back on and we're eating ice cream. Yeah, so. I'm just <laughs> No, but the, the yoga replaces the, the indulgences. Right. So you continue running. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if there are things with your diet or things that are affecting your health, mm -hmm. right? Um, like maybe diet, maybe alcohol, mm -hmm. okay? Maybe staying up a little too late. Yeah. Uh, then you replace those with things like yoga. Maybe you pull out the you pull out the foam roller. You know. Oh yeah. You pull out the six pound good. dumbbells, right? Right. Get and, after uh, it. You do a little cross training. Do some you know? cross training. Replace those things. Yeah. You know, it's okay to indulge. It's okay to yeah. treat yourself. That's okay. Definitely. Um, but don't overdo it. And that's the thing. That's the thing. The, yeah. the the main thing too is like don't beat yourself up and don't beat yourself up yeah right because it becomes a vicious cycle right these are crazy times yeah 
if you have a little extra ice cream, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, just recognize it. And then if it becomes an issue, mm -hmm. put the ice cream away, take out the foam roller, because it's just as good. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Um, foam rolling. And with me, know. with a lot of those things, like for instance, well, you mentioned chips, you mentioned ice cream. And I just don't have them in the house a lot. Right. If they're not in the house, I'm going to be okay. Mm. If I have them in the house, they're done. They're gone. You know? I know. Do and they're you gone. Have this they go into me. Do you have this issue where, because I do this all the time, we'll go, say we get some groceries. Mm hmm. And then immediately I want to eat all the terrible things. Of course. And then, like, they're supposed to last a week. All the terrible things are gone in two days because I'm just cranking them back. Yep. Yeah, I had that issue. I I'll eat, eat right out of the bag, <laughs> right. putting things away. Yeah. It's like, you, know? you just, oh, this looks delicious. And then you <laughs> just crank them back. You're just standing there staring at, like, the clock, eating, <laughs> you know, Malamars. Just shoving them yeah, in your yeah. face like Cookie Monster. So with me, it's like I, the fewer of those things I have in the house, the better off I'm going right. to be. Right. Um, you know, I rarely crave those things if they're not in the house. But if I go to the supermarket and I see those things, I grab those. And that's the thing you got to do. You got to not grab those things when you're in the supermarket. Right. So it's like a two layers of self-discipline. Don't go down those aisles. Just skip the cookie aisle. Kick the, yeah, and skip like that. Ice cream, you know, the frozen food, well, you know, the frozen food section or yeah. you know, the ice cream section. Skip them. Skip them. Just don't do it. Discipline. <laughs> right. So much easier said than done, yeah. though, you know? I know. I know. Right? It's true. It's do you true. guys still go to the grocery store? What's the deal now? Well, yeah, we do. But, you know, you've got to dissolve. Like, you go in and you, you, know, you have to wear a mask. Yep. If it's one way, you know, there are arrows on the ground, yes. or you got to keep yes. six feet of, of, of away from, you know, other people. Mm -hmm. Some people are doing it. Some people are really good about it. Some people are not. And it's just, yeah. It's a nightmare. You got to go in, put hand sanitizer on, get some hand sanitizer afterward. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of rough. It is, I man. mean, you know, there are, there are tougher things in life, believe me. And we're going to get through this, but... It's kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> it is a pain in the I'm butt. I'm not going to lie. Pain I agree, man. We tried to do the delivery, grocery deliveries. Yeah, well, and That I was mean, a nightmare, too, because everybody else is doing it. So, right, and well, so, it took, like, two weeks to get my groceries, man. Jeez. They must have been, like, was the lettuce wilted after two weeks? <laughs> no, I think they didn't shop okay. it. Okay. Till, it doesn't, like, it, sit they don't in the truck sit or anything? Like bin, okay. No. Eric, it's going to bag Eric. It's sitting there <laughs> for two weeks. Hey, somebody better deliver this to Eric, because the... You know, the lettuce, <laughs> the lettuce. is wilted the and the ice cream is melted. So <laughs> He's going to be pissed. Maybe that's what you got to do to avoid all this stuff. Order it online to have it delivered Leave and it's it coming to you. Yeah. And the ice outside. cream melts Leave. and the chips go stale and who wants to eat those? <laughs> right. We joke, but this is a, it's a serious It's time. a serious time, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, Just trying to be lighthearted about it, you know? Yeah. I don't want to be doom and gloom because it's... You can get real into that vicious cycle of doom and gloom. Right. But hear this, too. If you feel like you're overindulging, you have control over that, and you can stop that. You That's can true. discipline yourself. You can replace those, you know, those indulgences with, you know. Right. Things that are beneficial. Exactly. And we mentioned yoga, exercises, stretching. Uh, meditation is always a good thing. Yes, yeah, so I got this okay. app called Headspace. Yep. I've been trying to do some of that stuff. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can turn off the Netflix, you know? You can. You, you can, can turn, turn it off. off. Or, you know, you can. You could have certain times where you could, you know, you could have a limit. Maybe okay. it's like a half hour, hour. Yeah. No more Netflix. Right. Uh, and it's got to go off by a certain time. Yeah. With me, I usually won't. See, with me, I don't really watch... During the day, and we have this in our house with the kids. We don't have screen time yeah. until afternoon, evening, yeah. you know, if they're going to have screen time. And we mm -hmm. limit that. But during the day, it's not on. It's just at night. When everyone goes to bed, I'm finding myself, me, personally, what I'm watching is that I'm staying up a little later. 
to watch something, get hooked into something. Yeah, you know? that happens to me. Man. Yeah, or maybe I don't have to get up as early, so maybe I'll stay up a little later, and that's not good too, because you know, right. got to wake up and be a dad, and not like a, you know, lump on a log who's still who's grumpy because he hasn't had any sleep. <laughs> so, right, exactly. Yeah, but and another thing is that we just have to look at this as we've got to keep thinking, folks. This is not forever. This is it this whole coronavirus end. thing is going to end. end. It will end. We'll get through it. And uh, so, so we have to try to stay relatively disciplined. Yes. So when we get through it, we could just, you know, seamlessly get into our routines Hopefully, of work yeah. and running and training and um, staying in shape and not have too many things that we're going to have to overcome when, this, when we get out of this. Right. Hopefully yeah. we can just jump right back into it and yeah. be on our way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, I think we got to end. Right? We do. We do. Yeah. Um, I gotta get to work. You do, and I've gotta get to doing nothing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go for a run. Actually, you can go for a run. I'm going for a run. Nice. I got the opportunity right now. Small window. I'm gonna take that opportunity. Seize the opportunity. It. Man. I have to seize it. You got to. How how far are you going? Probably just gonna do five, maybe six. We'll yeah. see. Cool, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, you enjoy your run. It's a lovely day out here. It is. I hope you enjoy it. Brisk, but it's sunny and uh, yeah. Once you start running. You know what you should do? Well, you should keep running. Keep running because it's good for you. And right? We, yeah. Thanks. So thanks for listening, everybody. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. Stay healthy.